Tuesday after Easter and what a Tuesday to wake up to. $30,000 on Bitcoin. Crazy, right? Loving the bee at that price point. We were waiting for this. If you go back on the previous weeks, uh, there was several uh, mentions of that price level. We're looking at another one, uh, but just give me a few minutes. We're going to dive in, of course, into Bitcoin a little bit more. Um, if you didn't catch up with previous streams, make sure you do. Um, of course, I also want to invite you into my Discord where we can discuss all the stuff we do here on YouTube and uh, where you can just hang or decide to maybe join the crew uh, that is uh, set out to um, make their future uh, with crypto altogether. Uh, we do NFTs, we do metaverse, we trade, uh, we do risk management, mental health, you name it. More than welcome. Official links always in my descriptions. Official links always only on the uh, verified accounts. Make sure you don't fall for scammers. Absolute outpour of them at the minute, guys. Um, but let's let's see what Bitcoin might be doing next and what it means for your portfolio. And is a good time to start buying or maybe it's time to sell. So you're looking with me here at the weekly chart. It gives us nice perspective. Um, I have a couple of those. I want to show you, obviously, different angles, different time frames um, and other indicators that uh, what are we seeing here and what's happening? Um, I believe uh, last week uh, we were looking at this chart and I was talking about how the two are uh, two uh, EMAs here, 200 and the 50 were coming in together and they were a little bit flat uh kind of indicating a move was coming right so lo and behold a little bit of snooze fest another um salty week uh, or two uh, around social media especially on twitter uh bears fighting bulls bulls fighting bears um everybody fighting uh, everybody and market anyway does whatever it wants right but we were anticipating this uh, there is the CME uh, chart that I keep referring to as well on the weekly um, we had that marked out a while back as well where we were looking at those two gaps around $20,000 and one that is in around $35,000 kind of makes sense to come and grab that liquidity up here right and then what that's the thing um we were waiting definitely thirty thousand is a very important level uh go back to the previous chart for a second guys it's going to be very uh easy for you to see the resistance we are looking at it is a key level i know you're probably sick of hearing that as well because every level is a key level right so what do we do next? Look at uh, price of Bitcoin, where it is right now. Uh, why uh, 28,000 was also a bit of a pesky level here. We were looking at some of those wicks. Uh, it was a strong um, resistance in terms of as well, that mind game thingy I keep mentioning as well when I keep saying, you know, 25,000 was a uh, round number. Those psychological levels uh, will play uh, on our minds. Um, we're going to doubt ourselves and make uh, funny decisions sometimes because they are important levels and will be exploited by uh, whales. So because we are looking at a possible reversal here, right? Uh, when we zoom out and we look at the structure, guys, uh, we had this beautiful W here that that amazing um move uh, back in january uh retested in around twenty thousand. but when you look at the structure you're seeing the w you're seeing a rise level one retrace and now we're at rise level two because there wasn't really a retrace here so when and if bitcoin is going to reverse where could it possibly come back down to? We're going to look at that as well. Um, 
And of course, what I'm expecting again is a lot of noise in terms of, oh yeah, we're definitely going to see back again. Whatever, Bitcoin to zero, all that nonsense. Once again, I want to remind you what works best for me and has always worked best for me and for many traders is not getting hung up on any bias, not thinking about um, what has to happen, but moving with the market. Um, you see, we go up and down and why can't you make money both ways, right? So just putting in uh, some indicators just to see uh, what we look at on the weekly. Um, and as, as you can see here, guys, uh, on weekly chart 70 is the level for RSI. Uh, there's still obviously room to go. Okay. Uh, we were looking at the 50 and 200 and how they're crossing. And it is looking like a beautiful golden cross. We have that, let's zoom in, let's zoom in because it's um, important how we're looking at that right now and how that 50 EMA here is curving up, going up to the top. Um, and that cross appeared around here. Amazing, love to see this. Um, that's not to say guys, again, we won't be uh, you know, seeing a little bit lower, but those uh, indicators, especially on higher time frames, they're gonna be a little bit laggy. So that, you know, cross one, get uncrossed um, immediately. Um, remember actually the talks about this a while back when everybody was talking about the death cross. And see, this is this is how things are in crypto. Everybody was seeing doom and gloom back then. And we were actually uh, nearing up the 25,000. That biggest uh, bull trap, huh? We keep talking about that. Um, just to show you uh, the 8 and 21 EMA that I uh, talk a lot about, um, we are discussing it um, in more detail in the Discord. If you want to learn a little bit more how to trade up those indicators, you can join us there. So for the, for the time being, that cross is super duper bullish. Um, but if you look back, if you want to retest it, um, uh, back test it and look at this indicator how it behaved before uh, on previous years what price has done um do this as a bit of practice for yourself just to kind of know where your head where your head at is with this um this candle like i can't stop looking at it it's just so beautiful um that obviously again it's a weekly a little bit laggier than than smaller time frames but it kind of gives you a nice indication as well where you could possibly uh, see a retest if one was to come, where you could place your stop loss or where you could uh, place your buy orders. Um, you know, weeks like this are nothing um, unusual. So after uh, a massive pump or some sort of like um, side action around the key levels, and there we have a uh, Bitcoin pumping, but who's to say? We're not going to see a liquidity grab just in like one mean wick. Uh, place your orders there. I think anyway, in general, right now, it's going to be a little bit hard to um, find the best moment to get into the market if you're not in it yet. And it's going to be driven uh, a lot by a FOMO, uh, seeing how price is moving. And I, I believe DCAing is is probably the best um, approach and it has always kind of been that, you know, safest way uh, to to slowly get in. Um, if Bitcoin moves up to, uh, we were looking at 33, I think 35, uh, your chances of making some money from here are still, you know, probably, uh, higher than actually um, losing. Uh, guys, don't forget that upside potential has no cap. Um, it's only the downside that you can really kind of measure because it can only go to zero. <laughs> and that's 30,000 only <laughs> from here. But anyways, let's get back and let's just talk a little bit more, maybe on a smaller time frame as well, just to... Uh, appreciate this beautiful beautiful move 
I think many people, myself included, I was not expecting it to happen on Monday. Monday, uh, yesterday was still a holiday uh, around the globe and banks uh, and traditional uh, markets, uh, they weren't open everywhere. And it just kind of, you know, it came out of nowhere in a way, but it's holding, it's holding. And just, you know, this is what we've been dealing with this range for so, so long. And it was just getting really, you know, you could tell if we were gearing up to something. Um, I was just not expecting it to happen, I suppose, yesterday. Amazing stuff. Uh, get back to maybe smaller time frame once again, because I do uh, want to see where we are at. Just give me a second, actually, because I want to go back and look at my other Bitcoin chart. There we go. I had those levels marked out here, that range. Um, and even look at that, right? This is my um, price alert. I was waiting uh, for, I think I had uh, two anyway. We were looking at um, two key levels to be broken, either above 29,000 or below 27,000 uh, um, for either entering your lungs or entering the shards. That range has been really, really, uh, uh, for traders, dream, um, at some point, kind of becoming exhausting and definitely a snooze fest. There was days when nothing was happening in the market and I hope you guys got to enjoy your Easter. Really, really overextended here on the hourly um on our side guys so just be mindful uh if we do get another push um get that those um notifications on price of course you know again doing things it's it's, it's just amazing to watch this uh, unfold when you're trading like that when you get a move and the candles are doing this it's like so what now <laughs> um definitely interesting week ahead guys trying to think what else uh, could i tell you here um keep an eye on the dominance i think it is going to be interesting as well to see uh what ads are going to do uh are we going to see bitcoin chill dominance cool off and we're we're you know we're rotating that money into alts and seeing nice uh, um, pump. A lot of people are talking about uh, selling May and go away. Are we gearing up to this? Are we actually uh, going to be um, selling in May and uh, seeing that deeper correction? I think there's no need again to panic. There's no need to FOMO. Um, always have some spare uh, powder for possibly new trades constantly um seeing new gems emerge or actually older uh like um i spoke about this with lisa on spaces recently where there's been great projects that were doing super well back in the previous bull market but just the timing and how things worked for them obviously wasn't great and we're seeing injective and right now, uh, it's a funny thing, I've been seeing uh, a lot more people talk about um, Benko Finance. Uh, and I, these two coins um, are alongside another couple like Arai, um, and there's been a few more that they, they were great projects back in the previous bull market, but as we know, the timing kind of sucked at the, around the time when they uh, actually launched. And it's nearly like they were ahead of their time and now it's going to be their time. So keep an eye on that as well, guys. Don't just rely on extremely super new projects. Do a little bit more digging into um, those that were, like I said, a little bit ahead of their game in the previous bull market. Got hurt by, um, by obviously, a uh, market reversal. And now they're emerging. Um, Loads of those are actually being shared uh, in the Discord. Uh, don't fade spot. I know everybody is looking for like a quick pump or or hundred x a leverage trade uh, just to make you into a millionaire. But I'm telling you guys right now, you have the best chance to position yourself in this market to give yourself 
amazing amazing gains so in short i think when i asked uh, the question at the start is it time to buy is it time to sell i think it's certainly still time to keep buying it's not financial advice because you do need to do your research um you need to decide what projects you want to be buying we're still might be seeing correction and else will will drop in price but you'll never be able to find that bottom find yourself good entry points um small uh portions of your portfolio break it down dca and don't don't let this opportunity um pass you by right um don't know if there's any more i could be rambling here and i've been talking about the bitcoin for a while i always try and kind of keep it you know concise and um important to some points very hard to cover everything uh, and uh i always encourage you guys to, to keep asking me questions um i did open the discord for that purpose so you can guys discuss things um the community part is totally free you can come and hang um we can talk we can discuss and this is what we do there daily uh so if you need any more um let me know your thoughts in the comments actually real quick just want to um or yeah just come and hang in the discord this little box was something we were looking at right um that's the cme gap again um you see how they just kind of appear you know and then we get that wake i think a lot of people um were hoping for this as well and then market broke out of this wedge Boom. beautiful anyway i hope you all enjoyed your uh, easter i hope this was uh, informative um join me um like i said make sure you all always um verify the official links they're all in the description of the video and i'll see you around let's check on alts